Today we are on Garden Park Natural Area, which that's a site owned by the BLM. We're hosting a volunteer event today since it's National Volunteer Week. Our program has about 80 active volunteer stewards that conduct the monitoring on our state natural areas. The Colorado Natural Areas program is a statewide conservation program within Colorado Parks and Wildlife. The program was created by a legislature actually in 1977 through the Colorado Natural Areas Act. The purpose for the program is to identify, protect, and designate Colorado's most special places, the most significant and unique natural features within Colorado. Those are things like fossils, geology, rare plants, plant communities, um, wildlife habitat, and even things like natural phenomena. The Colorado Natural Areas Program designates state natural areas throughout Colorado. We have almost 100 state natural areas, 93 to date right now. We're working on several more. Today we're here um, on the Colorado Natural Areas uh, volunteer trip for 2016. We brought a, a group of great volunteers out here to show them the Garden Park Fossil Area. Uh, this area is all BLM managed property. We manage this area in particularly as a, an area of critical environmental concern. It's the Garden Park Fossil Area, ACEC, and it's because of the important paleontological resources that we have out here. And also there's a couple of uh, species of rare plants that you find particularly in this area. The BLM manages more than just paleo resources. We manage the uh, vegetation out here. We have a lot of recreation in this area and our connection is um, with the Colorado Parks and Wildlife and with the Colorado Natural Areas. Volunteers go out, they um, inventory vegetation and wildlife and all that information is used for our decision making process. Our volunteer stewards conduct the annual monitoring of all of our natural areas. And so what they're monitoring are Colorado's most significant features that make Colorado special. Our Colorado Parks and Wildlife and Natural Areas volunteers are basically providing a benefit not only for our agency, but for all those other agencies that we're partners with as well. So the state natural areas program, and especially through their volunteers, actually do quite a bit of on the ground you know, um, surveying and, and data collection. And that is certainly useful information for us as a program, also looking at you know, how, what is the condition of the site and, and using that information as something to engage with those landowners. Because again, these are voluntary um, programs and so it's a way to partner with those landowners and so using the information collected by these volunteers just helps inform the landowners, it helps us understand the systems and what's going on better. The National Natural Landmarks Program is administered by the National Park Service. It was established in 1962 and it's basically a partnership program that recognizes natural areas that contain the best examples of biological and geological features. The National Park Service works with a variety of different landowners including the Bureau of Land Management, Colorado Parks and Wildlife, and the Natural Areas Program through Colorado Parks and Wildlife through the National Natural Landmarks Program. And so this is a federal designation that is given by the Secretary of the Interior um, and it is, it is given to these lands and these lands are owned by a whole variety of landowners. So they may be public, they may be private. So we have federally owned sites, state, county, city, um, those owned by conservation organizations and those owned by private individuals. We are looking for more and new ways and opportunities to really partner and enhance and elevate the, the different programs, um, you know, just through working together. The paleo resources out here are world-class resources. People come from all over the world to see what we've got here. Our dinosaur fossils have been excavated here since the late 1800s. Excavations still go on today. We're still actively managing it as a paleo resource, looking for fossils all the time. We're famous for our fossils that are located at the Smithsonian Museum. We've got fossils at the Yale Peabody. We've got fossils on display at Cleveland Museum, the Carnegie. We've got it all over the place. A lot of the really common household names of fossils are dinosaur fossils like Diplodocus and Stegosaur were first discovered here in Garden Park. Garden Park also has very unique geology within Colorado. It also has several rare plant species, even one plant species that is petitioned for federal listing, which we're partnering with the BLM on furthering to conserve and protect that species to preclude that from listing. 
The Colorado Natural Areas Program is the only program within Colorado state government that does have a focus or an emphasis on rare plants. So many of our natural areas are designated for rare plants. The NNL designation in particular does not provide protection but by advocating for it, by making people aware that the sites exist and that these resources exist at these sites, they're con considered to be nationally significant, the hope would be that that information would be used as a tool when making decisions and therefore then protect those resources. So it's through this, this path of increasing awareness and acknowledgement of those resources that then protection hopefully then occurs.